see there is my hero, John Lydon. Look, look at this, John Lydon, one of my heroes, man. I'd love to go and see him, but unfortunately, I'll be, I think I'll be working, will I? Oh no, uh, oh, I'll be in York. Ah, disaster. Right, folks, well, I think that exhibition of E. Fowl, I think that was just a little bit too, maybe highbrow for you, bro. What do you think? It was too highbrow for you, no, maybe? I thought it was marvellous and very interesting and I understood all the words, especially the long ones. Well, we're going somewhere right now, bro, that's much more on your level, so I think you'll understand this one. Here we go. What, level six. So, here we are, we've arrived at Bro's exhibition. Bro, what do you think? We've arrived here. This is your, mm. this is your exhibition, bro. Yes. And did you find the, um, did you find the penguin? Uh, yes. Did you find it? Okay. Very good. Yeah, bro. Very cool stuff's upstairs. I don't know where he is, but I think I've got a family idea. I think he's gone into the bit where they've got the colouring books and things, so... I don't know where he's gone. Spares! They've invented void, they've installed in the What does it say? It said something to me, bro. No, it said stop mucking about or something. <laughs> no way, man. Is that Space! I've been doing this all around the year. Uh, I know, sorry. Bro's getting me into trouble, honestly. <laughs> right, folks, well, Spiz have just heard some disturbing reports that the oldest stone in the house. Uh, was actually vandalised. Was it last night, bro, or the night before, uh, maybe? Like so, before Friday, I think it was. so we're going to go and investigate the uh, the situation. You may remember. I think I don't know if you were with me, bro, because I, I I came along here to see it getting excavated, and I was talking to the the people here yes, and, and from the the house when I was there on my own yes. without you, and they were talking to me. <laughs> um, yeah, so it was quite. It was, I wouldn't understand what they're going on about you. No, so. you would have done. They were just digging. So yes, we're just waiting to go and see what's going on with this stone. It's like around about here. Yes, there it is there, that one there. Now that's the oldest one, that's the one they were working on there, look. See so how they've got to cover up and top yeah. pollen. Okay. Well, folks, it seems as though Bro has given me some duff information. And he's away now to go and check the website. And oh and uh, yes, we're just talking about the oldest oh. stone that day I was here. A very cold day, I remember, but a very enjoyable day. Because Bro's Right, well, it turns out that it's a 400-year-old stone that has been uh, damaged by an amateur archaeology. Like when you look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah, we're just it's saying, the yes. It's the, the <laughs> You just look, just look like him. Look. Yes. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this is a pretty horrific story. Some amateur archaeologist trying to dig up one of the stones. So we're going to find out which one it is. Same, bro. It's the same. It doesn't know exactly, exactly why. 400-year-old protected monument. Uh -huh. And it is. I didn't say which stone it is, it just says a 400 year old stone. Right. So I can't tell you. Scooby Doo, folks, we've split up. She's going to find this two flat grain, grey stones at first. Right, folks, now here's some quite exciting news here because just beside where the Green Man of Dundee is, right here, in fact, there's the Green Man of Dundee. Remember, made famous by the song The Green Man of Dundee by Jagged Betty. Um, they've taken away the fire escape. Now, I've been up that fire escape before. Have you been up there, bro? Were you too scared to go up, perhaps? Yeah, so what they've done, they've taken away this fire escape here. Remember, the big rusty fire escape. Wait, oh, what's happened to my hat, man? Been, oh, bro, my hat's been on back to front, you dimwit. You could have told me. I've been walking around the city with it like that. Uh, yeah, so they've taken it away and. Um, they're going to be building an extension of some some restaurant or something to come out and have a look over the, the back of the house. So there you go. 
Success Pro has actually found it, folks. Yeah. yeah. So which one is it? Right folks, I'm currently on top of this grave where the uh, this archaeologist came along and just chipped away at it seemingly. Um, as you can see there are some fresh scratch, scratch marks here on this and the significance of this is it's a 400 year old stone and why, I don't, I don't really understand bro, why you would want to come down here and chip away at it, I just don't understand it at all really, it's a very strange, strange one that. Yeah now some scratch marks just here, I don't know if this could be a here folks, yeah. So something done with a oh yeah there's a few scratch marks so there could be that where he's been trying to chisel off some part of it I don't know but it's uh so this is the 400 year old gravestone that he's been trying to chip away at so there's a skeleton what's the wonder what the significance of this one is then that it's so important yes let me have another read of it just trying to see what's on the side of it McGilvery is it McGilvery Medico, he's obviously a doctor and a family doctor to the parents of Charles and Raphael Thompson who lived in the effigy behind the shadowy statue of modern man oh very interesting indeed folks here we have some scratch marks along there see them there Did you actually I'm going to say, bro, it's not working. Honestly, folks, bro, bro has brought me in here to the Marks and Spencer's food hall. He's looking for, well, I'm giving him his juice, looking for vegetables, mind you, but I can't believe I'm in Marks and Spencer's. Oh, on a Sunday, it's ridiculous. Honestly, folks, bro, bro has brought me in here to the Marks and Spencer's food hall. He's looking for, well, I'm giving him his juice, looking for vegetables, mind you, but I can't believe I'm in Marks and Spencer's. Sunday, well, folks, that's another day over. It's always sad to see bro go. Yes, so uh, you're happy, you're delighted for me to go. Right, have you got everything you need now? And yes, you've I've got, got my Kagul one. You've got that, go. that wee Kagul present I, I gave you. I'll wear on my uh, next sporting event. Well, we look forward to that one then, bro. And okay. My cool store on my... Did you get garlic oh, bread? It's, oh, it's garlic bread. My garlic, bread. garlic bread. Did you leave it out? Oh, yes, yes. it's down there, right. Fantastic, bro. Take it easy now. Bye, everybody. I won't be here next Sunday, bro, because unfortunately I have to work. Yes. So I'll see you soon. See you in September. Take it easy. Yes. Oh yes, I'll see you soon. Yes. Bye, bro. Go on, off you go. Come on, have you not gone yet? God, it just takes so slow. Go on.